Hi, happy Manga Monday. Today I'm going to talk about Eden no Hana. This manga I read a couple years ago and I still actually remember it fairly well. The storyline, the plot, the characters will really stick with you after you're done reading it. I don't want to say mostly because of the trauma that our main female character goes through, but a good portion of it is because of the trauma and the situations she goes through are so not extreme, but they're very memorable. So our main female character is called Midori. Again, I'm really bad at pronouncing names, so this might be wrong. But Midori is a young high school girl. Now both of her parents are dead. They died in this horrible apartment fire that happened when she was really young, like maybe four or three years old way long time ago. Now she has a real brother who is Tokyo, T-O-K-I-O, which again it might not be pr pronounced Tokyo but that's how I say it in my head so that's how I'm saying it here. And she hasn't seen him since that day. Okay, So she lives with her foster family and her foster family adopted her because their real biological daughter died. And she's basically her replacement, which is terrible, but that's how they view her. Now, her stepbrother doesn't view her that way. He rapes her all the time, right? Like after a certain point or like a certain age, that's just like what he does whenever he gets the chance to, is he rapes her, he videotapes it, he takes pictures, it's awful. So that is going to be my first trigger warning is that there is a lot of rape in the beginning of the story. Now she ends up like temporarily running away from home or like her foster home because of how unhappy she is at home, at school, in life. So she goes to like a big building, I think it was Tokyo Tower, and while she's there she meets a man. Now not knowing this, but like comes to find out, it's actually her real brother, okay? And she has to go back home to the foster care system or the foster care home. And while she's there, her stepbrother's trying to rape her and she's able to get to her room, which is in like the second story. And her brother is there, like, calling out to her and she literally jumps from the second story window into his arms and they leave to be together live together you know form a life together and find like peace okay so that is the beginning of the story now for those who are going to go into this there is uh, a relationship that kind of goes on between the brother and sister but for those who are like that's gross incest is nasty let me just give you the spoiler alert now they're not actually brother and sister okay so rest at ease I've already found that out for you so you can read it without worry or you know any of those feelings involved okay so the rest of the story is about how these two get along. Not only that, but it's about Midori kind of finding peace in herself and in life after experiencing such terrible things, trying to trust people again after having that kind of situation happen to her. So it's got a lot of growth, a lot of healing, a lot of, you know, development for the characters. And on top of that, there is an awesome twist at the end which I will not dabble with I will not touch there is drama there's some suspense some thriller some mystery it is an all-around good manga and of course there is a little romance kind of like a little love triangle which again I won't um, give away what happens in that aspect but it is a well done manga I like the art I like the storyline, I like the characters, I think it's well done. I would definitely read it again. Thank you for watching. If you have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. And have a wonderful day everyone. Bye!